Are we almost there yet? That's a question posed by every child on what seems to be an endless car ride. Nowadays, there are plenty of adults asking a similar question. Are we almost ready to return to normal? I thought of these questions because of Jesus' last line from today's gospel, where he says, you are not far from the kingdom of God. Many people have expressed a longing to receive the Eucharist again, to go to confession again, to be able to celebrate mass in person with their parish community. For some, the deprivation of these has caused them to feel far from the kingdom of God. And believe me, we priests understand. But what Jesus reminds us is that through following the commandments and being willing to learn through his word, we can remain close and not far from the kingdom of God. With that in mind, each of us can use the benchmark that Jesus presents to the scribe and to us. We can ask, do we love God with some or all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength? And do we love our neighbor as ourselves? What I find both challenging and inspirational in these questions is that Jesus is calling for a total buy-in. Jesus wants 100% effort, both in loving God and in loving our neighbor. But at the same time, Jesus knows it's not always easy for us to live this way. Just look at the original track record of those closest to him, including Peter. But if we are to believe that God is who we confess him to be, then there is only one real response to his love. Just take a look at St. Paul's letter to Timothy. In it, Paul explains why he's willing to love God above his physical freedom, why he's fully committed to being chained like a criminal. The reason is so that others may obtain salvation in Christ Jesus together with eternal glory. For many of us, total commitment to love God and each other like ourselves is daunting, even in the best of situations. But I think despite this time of challenge and uncertainty, I think this is when we are most free to embrace this gospel message. It's true, we might have had our personal, academic, or professional lives shaken to the point that we, like Paul and that scribe, are now ready to commit to God in a more significant and a renewed way than before all this happened. My brothers and sisters, are we near the kingdom of God yet? That's the question to ponder, to pray, and to talk about in your prayer life with God and your family. And if you can, the Lord is calling us to help one another, to be like Paul, encouraging and teaching so that we can together grow closer to God and, and one another. This is the way we are supposed to be, the way that gives us both fulfillment and peace and unity to the one that leads us to eternal life. Are we near God? Right now, we are all one step closer. So let's keep walking together. May God bless you and your family this holy day.